wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd be funny. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, so there you go, Vince. Always the... Uh, what? Ever the fucking... Vince? He's a genius. He is. He's evil an evil genius. genius. He wears a cape. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a hero. He wears a cape. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. That is some and... shit. Just the scheme of it all. It's brilliant. And, and it is brilliant. I mean, it's really smart. It's like, you have to really know business. I mean, a lot of people put their thinking hats on for this one, buddy. Wow. Just, just amazing. And uh, we're not going to be able to follow that up with anything greater. So I guess we're just going to move into the comings and goings. I, I got no, <laughs> nothing, nothing. That's just the top. Hey, you come in big, you go out big. That's how you do a shortage sentinel. You're damn right. With three in there, man, we should made a hell of a sandwich. It's an opposite of, of a normal it's sandwich. It's a soft we had core bacon. porn sandwich. <laughs> we had bacon, bread, bacon, baby. <laughs> Fuck that shit. And in the comings and goings, we got Drew Gulak's contract, which expired with WWE after the May 15th edition of Friday Night SmackDown. The promotion was quick to move him to the alumni section, which made Fat Max say, fucking alumni? Like, they're really using that word loosely, alumni. Yeah. He was there for a cup of coffee. <laughs> and all he did was hold the 205 Live Championship. But, well, okay. he worked with Daniel Bryan a bit here at the end. Yeah, but, he, I mean, he didn't win anything, I think right? it's weird. I, mean, I think it's weird that he didn't stay when he was actually being used relatively properly for, for the position he was in. <clears throat> well, let's see why he might not have stayed pasty. It appears that Gulak was seeking out a raise from the higher-ups, but WWE denied it. Probably not the best time to be asking for pay raises, but, you know, whatever. Well, they I did just him. fire he a tried. bunch of people. There's all that extra money on the table um, somewhere. WWE then decided to just pull the contract offer they originally proposed to him and call the negotiations off. They were just like, fuck you. <laughs> you don't like what we're offering. Get the fuck out like everybody else. Uh, Dave Meltzer on the latest edition of Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports, though that Drew Gulak's negotiations with WWE is not a completely dead issue, that the former Cruiserweight champion is being represented by the notorious Barry Bloom, who has said that they are still working on a deal to return to WWE that would work out for both parties. So he is officially released. He's still in talks with WWE. I don't think... I, I get, yeah, Right now, you don't know what's going to happen, honestly, I don't think but... Vince knows who he is yet, so I don't think this is going to turn out ideally. I think it was pretty shitty. Like, I, I get anybody wants to better themselves and take care of their family better. But it is kind of a shitty move when everybody's getting let go for financial reasons to be like, I want to raise. It's like, you know, dude, Daniel just, Bryan just told him to do get. it. <laughs> just take what you get, dude. And then later on negotiate, you know, a bump in pay when things are doing a little better. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't blame him for asking, but I also don't blame WWE well, for saying, Holy what if, shit. That's do you ballsy. think do you think he's still being paid a 205 live salary on the main card? No, no, I think when he moves up to the main card, he definitely was making more money. He, he's, you know, I heard him and Brian had some great matches, and I would love to see him. And if he's working with Brian on the main card, I'm sure he had a bump in, in pay from his uh, 205 live money. I would hope so, but I could see WWE to pull that kind of shit too. Like where he wasn't really called up or whatever. and so Yeah. I could, I could see that. Because they haven't dissolved 205 Live yet. And the thing is, it's it's kind of, I haven't got any real wording on this, so I'm not sure if it's that he wanted a raise from what he was making or he wanted a raise from what WWE was offering them. Because it's just, the way it's worded, WWE had a contract out to rene- or for him. It could have been a higher contract than what he had, and he just mm. asked for more money. That could be the case. And again, you, I wouldn't normally dog somebody for doing that but this is just not the time to do it uh well if he doesn't go back to wwe i would definitely like to see gulak do some shit in new japan Ah, oh, he'd be awesome in new japan i thought AEW for a second but that's too easy like new japan would actually exercise his talents in a way that it haven't been yet yeah or he could be uh a huge improvement to the rebuilding of ROH if that ever gets uh, going again, too. Yeah. Um, they could definitely use him. He doesn't have so much the name power, but he, he definitely has the ability. 
And with the Pure Championship coming back in, which I'm assuming once things get up and running, they're getting back into that Pure Championship. Oh, Drew Gulak would be an awesome Pure Champion. Yes. Please. That'd be great. Maybe then he could convince Daniel Bryan to become Bryan Danielson once more. Oh, the American Dragon, baby. Ooh, We're not yeah. talking Jake Long. Are we talking Justin Long? Because he's a good actor. I wouldn't call him a good actor. I'd just say he's acted in things. <laughs> There's a difference. No, like I probably, Chad probably doesn't was a great well wrestler. when I think Justin Long and the first thing that comes to mind is Zach and Miri make a porno. Oh, God. <laughs> Funny movie, but not good at all. <laughs> oh. Well, after 11 years with WWE, Michael Mansuri has departed the company. According to PW Insider, Mansuri, who is the vice president of global television production. God, they got a lot of vice presidents in that company. Oh, vice is all over the place. <laughs> well, he left WWE this week, but according to the report, Mansuri gave his notice to WWE several months ago. Michael Mansuri was part of the Triple H regime and was touted as being the next Kevin Dunn, which is not something anybody oh. should aspire to. No. <laughs> <laughs> As some believed he would one day have Dunn's role in the company. Mansuri's day-to-day -day role at WWE was overseeing many of the WWE pay-per-view and television productions. Now that he's gone from the company, Marty Miller and Kevin Dunn are in charge of directing WWE broadcasts. I like how it's still an MM. Oh, yeah. And Marty Miller just sounds like a wrestler. Right. I don't know why it just does like Marty Miller. That would be Marty Skrull if he went to WWE. <clears throat> Probably. <laughs> it's Marty Miller. The milkman, Marty Miller. <laughs> God. I could see it as the sad thing. Oh, get rid of get rid of your your perfectly timed plague mask and umbrella, buddy. We're going to give you a white overcoat hat and a bottle of milk, baby. <laughs> We're going to make vignettes of you milking cows out in the barn before you bring you in. <laughs> That's great. No longer the villain. Now he's just filling buckets of milk. He's still a bad guy because he's not practicing social distancing. He's bringing the milk to your door. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we know what he's doing with your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! Uh, so, it would seem we have a special edition of the Injury Report this week. Yeah, just in time for AEW's uh, big pay-per-view double or nothing, we have an AEW-themed Injury Report, yeah. all of which that happened on one fucking show. And let's not forget, they still have a show tonight that I think is going on as we are uh, recording, which we could have more injuries. They have a show oh, tonight? My God. They don't air on Fridays. Yeah, they got their special double or nothing go home show thing going on. Their big special. Oh. Oh. They wanted they wanted a three day thing because WWE does three day <laughs> events. Well, this is their WrestleMania <clears throat> after all. There you go. So uh, starting out, we're gonna start with the uh, the one that we hope will rise again from the ashes. Oh, Ray Phoenix. He was involved in a brawl on Wednesday's Dynamite, in which Phoenix did a twisting senton. That was supposed to be onto a group of pro wrestlers, but he only clipped the group with his feet. Nobody caught him out of everybody there, and Phoenix landed hard on the floor on his back hip, kind of right where, if I had to explain it, if you if you put your body into a V, right at the point of the V, just the tail blam bone. bone. The tailbone, the dreaded tailbone, as, as Jay, hey, did it on the dreaded tailbone, god damn it, King! I got he broke him in half. Uh, F4W Online reported Phoenix was hurting from the spot, but should be set for a fucking ladder match <laughs> just two days later on tomorrow's Double or Nothing pay-per-view. For the love of fucking Phoenixes. God. Just what he needs is a higher place to jump off. <laughs> God damn it all. That's just not smart. I get it. But it's not smart. Just think about it. He's probably practicing for that match right now. <laughs> he's probably doing another match right now where he's <laughs> jumping off something like a goddamn idiot. 
Save it for the pay-per-view. You don't have to jump off shit in every damn TV appearance. Uh, oh, sorry. Now I'm sounding like one of them old school wrestling guys. God damn it. Are you jumping all the all time? All flippy doos and floppy tricks. Ah, uh, well, in what was either the same brawl or a different one, we have no fucking idea because we didn't <laughs> watch. The Young Bucks did a dual crossbody attacks off the stands on Santana and Ortiz. Apparently, Matt injured himself on the move. He wasn't involved. <laughs> the report says he either has a broken rib, torn cartilage, or a bad bruise. Matt was able to finish out the segment, and as of now, he is still scheduled for Saturday's match. Well, broken Matt wouldn't be broken Matt if he wasn't broken. It's actually, um, and, and I apologize because before we went on air, I, I said the wrong Matt. It's actually Matt Buck, so. But he's broken also, so now, now there he's broken. And that makes more sense from the description. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. Am I right? It helps. I mean, it would help so if I So now there's two the shit, broken Matts. We're still not doing that. Two broken mats in AEW. In, at the in one in one stadium stampede. <laughs> oh, we broke them. Let's throw them in a stadium stampede and have them jump off something. Him and Phoenix can both jump off shit. <laughs> God damn it. Can they jump off each other? They could. They will. <laughs> Why not? He's probably jumping off the field goal. <sighs> and then, if that wasn't enough, we had two major players out. We also have Britt Baker, who sustained an injury after Nyla Rose was thrown down on her knee during the women's tag match on Dynamite. Baker immediately grabbed her knee and favored it for the next few moments while she was in the ring. Rose eventually tagged herself in, and Baker was checked on by the ringside physician and helped to the back after the match, never um, getting back in the match after that spot. Brian Alvarez provided an update on the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Live, stating at the time Britt Baker was awaiting her MRI, saying that while nothing is official until she gets her MRI, it appears she may have torn her ACL. If that turns out to be the case, Baker would be forced to pull out of the pay-per-view tomorrow and could be sidelined for around nine months or more. Ouch. So I don't know if that would make the uh, women's match a three-way. I would hope not. I would hope they would just uh, bump another woman up to uh, face Chris Statlander. Yeah. Yeah, they should definitely insert somebody else. They have a lot of talent that they're not using very effectively. Oh, for sure. Put Allie in there. They don't have the butcher and the blade on here, so throw Allie in. Give a little representation. I don't think she's had a match since they became a thing. Does she still go by Allie in uh, AEW, do you know? Uh, I think she just goes by Bunny now. Bunny? I like Bunny. Bunny Allie. She had the little Bunny uh, character beforehand, so it works. I like it. The Butcher, the Blade, and the... Oh, the Butcher, the Blade, and the Bunny. I dig it. I like that a lot. They call themselves the Better Business Bureau. (laughs) (laughs) They can't take that from my boy, the business. He gets that. (laughs) I've got that locked in from my man. But, um... That that is one group that I'm I'm sad I haven't got to watch here for a while and see them grow. I don't know what they what AEW is doing with them, if anything, but I really like that whole uh, that whole little group there, and I, I hope the best for them. Yes, I think there's a lot they can do. Uh, just just it's a good angle. I just feel like AEW is very heel heavy at the moment, and while they're very heel heavy, they probably won't get the shine they deserve. Uh... Probably true, probably true, and they've just got a, um, they've got a lot, they've got a lot of, they got the same problem WWE has, and WWE has like 20 more hours to their week, but and they have 20 more million wrestlers to their roster, but yeah, they have a stacked roster, and you just can't do everything with all of them. I really hope Britt Baker can compete, though, I mean, she's just finally coming into her own in AEW. Right. It's, uh, it's pretty rough. Yeah, it it really is. <clears throat> we hope we hope all three of these um, the the injuries appear much worse than they truly are. I hope they can go on and actually have comfortable matches tomorrow and not injure themselves worse and not let this set them back at all because you you, you never want to see that for anybody, especially three su- superbly talented and uh, uh, three individuals that are really 
you look at Phoenix and Britt, of course, are really breaking out into the mainstream, and, and Matt, he's probably at his prime right now. So he, he doesn't want to lose the, the best years. 